Hello friends, welcome to a fresh new episode of our channel RG Innovations. If you have not subscribed already, please subscribe to our channel, click on the bell button and select all to get all future notifications of our video uploads. In today's video, we are going to discuss about how to connect an LCD display module with Arduino using an I2C LCD adapter. In one of my previous videos, I have shown how you can connect the LCD display directly with Arduino. It took a lot of wiring and many I.O. pins of the Arduino. I will share the link of the video in the i button and also in the description. You can check the video from there. But today we will use the I2C interface which will take only two pins of the Arduino leaving many resources free for connecting other peripherals. So let us start and see all the details step by step. I request you not to skip the video because I'll discuss many important details throughout the video. First, let us look at the LCD display. We have two type of LCD displays with us. One is 16 by 2 that means two lines or two rows and 16 characters per line. Another is 20 by 4 that means four lines or four rows and 20 characters per line. You can see here are so many pins to connect if we do not use an I2C adapter. So I am not wasting time by soldering the pins of an I2C adapter in the LCD display. I have already soldered it into two of the LCD displays and we will use one of these modules for the practical demonstration. Now let us look into the I2C LCD adapter. See, at the heart of the adapter is an 8-bit I.O. expander chip, PCF8574. This chip converts the I2C data from an Arduino into the parallel data required for an LCD display. The board also includes a tiny trim pot for making precise adjustment to the display's contrast. There is a jumper on the board that provides power to the backlight. To control the intensity of the backlight, you can just remove the jumper and apply external voltage to this header pin leveled LED. For now, we are connecting the jumper. Now, every I2C device has an I2C address. If you have multiple devices on the same I2C bus, you may need to set a different I2C address for the LCD adapter to avoid conflicting with another I2C device. For this purpose, the adapter comes with three solder jumper pads. You can see here A0, A1 and A2, these three jumper pads are there. The address is set when a jumper is shorted with a blob of solder. An important point to note here is that several companies including Texas Instrument and NXP Semiconductors manufacture the same PCF8574 chip and the I2C address of your LCD depends on the chip manufacturer because there are three address inputs that can take on two states either high or low, 2 to the power 3 or 8 different combination or addresses are possible. All three address inputs are pulled high using onboard pull-up resistors. If your adapter has Texas Instruments PCF8574 chip, this gives the PCF8574 a default I2C address of 0x27. When you short a solder jumper here, you pull the address input low. If you were to short all three jumpers, the address will be 0x20. So the range of possible addresses spans from 0x20 to 0x27. You can set a different I2C address according to the chart that we are going to show next. The first eight combinations are showing Texas Instruments PCF8574 chips I2C address combinations and the second group is showing NXP's PCF8574 chips I2C address combinations. You can clearly see by soldering which jumpers we can get which address. You can take a screenshot of this and save for your reference. Now, if your I2C adapter is NXP's PCF8574, then it gives the module a default I2C address of 0x3F. When you short a solder jumper, you pull the address input low and if you short all the jumpers, the address would be 0x38. So the range of all possible addresses spans from 0x38 to 0x3F. You can set a different I2C address according to the chart that we have just shown. So, the I2C address of your LCD is most likely 0x27 or 0x3F. We can also find the I2C address of a device using Arduino. We will see that later in this tutorial. Now, let us see the I2C LCD display pinout. The I2C LCD display has only four pins. The following is the pinout. At the top, there is the ground pin. It is connected to the negative power supply. Then the VCC pin. It is the positive power supply pin connected to 5 volt output of the Arduino or an external 5 volt power supply. Then SDA is the serial I2C data pin and SCL the serial I2C clock pin. Now how to wire the I2C LCD display to an Arduino? Connecting an I2C LCD is much simpler than connecting a standard LCD. 
you only need to connect four pins two for the data and clock and two for the power supply let us have a look at the circuit diagram you can see the i2c lcd adapter is soldered with the lcd display and only four wires from the arduino has been connected with the adapter the red color is the vcc the black color is the ground the orange color is the sda and the purple color is the sdl so only four wires from the arduino can drive an lcd display may it be a 16 by 2 display or it is a 20 by 4 lcd display Display, only four wires is connected with the Arduino so let's have a look at the practical demonstration let us start connecting it with an Arduino here is our I2C LCD module and here is our Arduino so we will begin with connecting the VCC pin so we are connecting the VCC pin with the Arduino's 5 volt pin then we are connecting the ground pin of the I2C LCD to the ground pin of the Arduino then we will connect the SDA pin of the I2C LCD to analog pin 4 which is also the SDA pin of the Arduino and we will connect the SCL pin to the analog pin 5 of the Arduino which is the SCL pin of the Arduino. Note that each Arduino board has different I2C pins that must be connected correctly. On Arduino boards with R3 layout, the SDA and SCL clocks are the analog pins A4 and A5 respectively as we have connected. There are also SCL and SDA pin separately given near to the RF pin. You can also connect to there. Now we need to adjust the LCD's contrast. Our LCD is already connected with the Arduino. Now we will give power to the Arduino so that the LCD also powers up. Now we will connect it with the computer. With the pressure of the USB cable, the Arduino is moving. We need to keep it fixed here. Now this is the trim port by which we can adjust the contrast of the LCD. So let us see. If we adjust the potentiometer, we can see a visible line here. But as there is no text printed to the LCD, there is nothing being displayed, only the first line of the LCD. So we can adjust the contrast of the LCD by adjusting the potentiometer. Now we have to install the library for the I2C device. We need a library called Liquid Crystal I2C. I have given the link of the library. You can download it from the description section and you can use that. The library allows you to control I2C displays using various functions. To install the library, unzip the library, copy the unzipped folder and paste it in the library folder in the Arduino folder inside my documents. Now how to find the I2C address? of this i2c adapter as previously stated the i2c address of your lcd depends on the manufacturer if your lcd has a pcf8574 chip from the texas instruments its i2c address is 0x27 if it has a pcf8574 chip from nxp its i2c address is 0x3f but if you are not sure what's your lcd's i2c address you can run a simple i2c scanner sketch that scans your I2C bus and returns the address of each I2C device it finds. I have given that Arduino sketch also for download. Load the I2C scanner sketch into your Arduino IDE. After you have uploaded the sketch, launch the serial monitor at 9600 Word. You should see the I2C address of your I2C LCD display. Please keep a note of this address. You will need it in later examples. So let's go to the Arduino sketch and we will run the I2C scanner and see and find what is the I2C address of our I2C adapter. We are moving on to the screen. So here is our I2C scanner sketch. We will upload it into our Arduino. So first selecting Arduino Uno COM3 and we will upload the sketch. Uploading done. Now we will open the serial monitor. You can see I2C scanner scanning I2C device found at address 0x3f. So our I2C adapter's address is 0x3f. Now we are closing the serial monitor and we are opening the test sketch for a hello world program for printing a hello world to the LCD. This is our sketch to print a hello world in the LCD. First we have included a wire.h library. It is included in the Arduino installation and then we have included the library liquid crystal i2c.h. I have given a link for download of this library. Now we have declared an object of liquid crystal type. Its name is LCD. Then we have given the address of the I2C and then given the size of the LCD. We are now working with a 16 by 2 LCD. So we have given size 16 and 2. 
then in the setup section we have initialized the lcd then turned on the lcd backlight then we have set the cursor position to 30 3 means here it is the column and this is the row so at the first row marked with 0 and 3 is the fourth column then we have printed hello world into the lcd then again we have set cursor to the position 1 and 1 that means the second row and the second column there we have print rg innovations so program is this simple now we will upload it into the arduino and see what happens into the lcd display we are pressing upload while the program loads we are moving to the camera you see the display has come but it is very faint so we need to adjust the potentiometer to adjust the contrast so we are adjusting the contrast and at a point of time the display will be very bright yes now you can see the display is very bright and in this way we can print anything into the LCD display by using RL2C just using simple two data wires. This is our first program with an LCD which prints the hello world and RG innovations. Now in the Arduino sketch we have used very few functions of the liquid crystal library. Now we will discuss few more functions of the same library so that we can use them in our programs. These are few other useful functions that we can use one is LCD.home this function positions the cursor in the upper left of the LCD without clearing the display. LCD.blink function displays a blinking block of 5 by 8 pixels that means one block of character in the, at the position to which the next character will be written. LCD.noBlink function turns off the blinking LCD cursor. LCD.cursor function displays an underscore line at the position to which the next character will be written. LCD.noCursor function hides the LCD cursor lcd.scroll display write function scrolls the content of the display one space to the right if you want the text to scroll continuously you have to use this function inside a for loop lcd.scroll display left function scrolls the content of the display one space to the left similar to the above function use this inside a for loop for continuous scrolling lcd.no display function turns off the lcd display without losing the text currently shown on it lcd.display function turns on the lcd display after it's been turned off with no display this will restore the text and cursor that was on the display so this was the basic use of an i2c adapter with an lcd display using an arduino you can use any version of arduino but please check before that what is the scl and sda pin of the arduino before connecting so with this information we conclude here today if you have any more question or confusion please feel free to ask me in the comment i'll definitely try to answer all your comments and if you like the video, please hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe our channel RG Innovations. We will meet again in a new video. Till then, bye bye. Take care. Thank you for watching. Have a nice time.